Hey everybody, I wanted to do a little bit different format on this video. Uh, I wanted to do a little voiceover action. Just let you guys watch me tear down those 862 heads for the Turbo 4.8 build. Uh, not too exciting, nothing other than cutting my hand, trying to knock some of the valve loose. But, you know, that happens sometimes. If you'll notice, at some point I, I start hitting the bottom of the valves to break the locks loose with a piece of wood. Hey guys, rip those heads apart really fast with my custom made tool. Now we want to try to work these uh, seals off these guys. Well, that's kind of weird. This thing has the uh, separated seals. Huh. I apparently was not aware that the 2000 model heads have the separate seals. They don't run the top hats. I just had glanced at them and thought, I thought they were just top, top hat style, but these are definitely separated positive seals. Unless these heads have been redone at some point in the past, <clears throat> which, you know, isn't impossible. I was not aware that these had this style of seal on them. And they're pretty gunky. They're burned up pretty bad. The guides didn't feel bad. The guides still felt good and tight when I was messing with the valve pulling them out. Man, down in here. Those things are gummy. Huh. That is crazy. I had no idea. These heads had this style of, this is the same style that I'm putting on here, but that's because I had those comp cam seals. I'm about to fight with these things because there's so much burnt oil around the tops of the guides. I'm gonna have to get under there and fight those little uh, locators off. Hold that, off. as you guys can see, I've been trying to wipe off all that burnt gummed up engine oil that was underneath the locators but i finally got them to let it was basically a suction cause because of all this burnt up oil and a little bit of water left over from washing them had created like a suction underneath those locators they didn't want to come off so I had to teach it a lesson real quick. All right, let's grab the other real head. quick. I wanted to point out through the various uh, oven cleaner washings, it is almost completely cleaned out, you know, 70 to 80% or more of the exhaust ports, which is a win. That's really dirty, dirty porting when you got to cut all that stupid carbon out. There we go, got everything disassembled. We can start cleaning up a little bit in the ports. But you can see all that burnt gummy oil underneath those locators with a little bit of moisture from the cleaning process was kind of giving that little suction on those locators, making them not want to come off. The last three valves guide seals my hand was getting tired. I couldn't hardly squeeze the pliers enough to get them to hold on. But you can see how burnt up that is. And there was no resistance. Disassembling the head, there was absolutely no resistance to the valve coming out. Those valve guides were, sh or I'm uh, sorry, the valve guides felt tight because I kind of wiggled the valves when I was pulling them out of the heads. But the valve seals, are, they're gone. They're not, they were doing next to nothing. So, good thing we're replacing those. So, 
there we are we got our uh, 862s disassembled got our uh, valves in order in our organizer trays aka two by fours that are marked for you know orientated to the head so we can put all the valves right back in the same hole that they lived their whole lives in so far uh, they'll get a fresh lapping because they like I said the motor was running good as far as valve seal and all the combustion chambers look good the valves look good so I'm not worried about getting a good valve seal on it and like I said the valve guides felt good when I was pulling the valves out it was just the valve seals were just toast they weren't sealing to the top of the valves at all so anyway we are making progress now we just got to get into these things and start cleaning up these ports um, not max porting these heads I want to keep uh, moderate port size could keep in mind 862s and 706s have about a 197 to 200 cc intake runner factory I'm looking for more velocity and less flow restriction more than volume because on the smaller 4.8 cubic inches I'm going to gain more in the normal drivability with velocities rather than volume and then once I put a turbo on top of it the, the flow numbers are going to skyrocket so anyway just some of my random thoughts on these heads and what I think is going to work best for what I'm trying to do so anyway as always guys thanks for watching like share subscribe hit that little bell so you can get all these updates because i'm going to be getting a lot of work done in the next week or two thank you guys for watching